Assalamualaikum and greetings human beings. In this video, I shall give a brief explanation about the Chinese TF1 industrial gas mask and its derivatives. The gas mask has been manufactured since the 60s until now. These two are the earlier TF1. There are many manufacturers of the TF1 mask, but I could only manage to get TF1 mask from three different manufacturers as for now. The derivatives MF1A and MF1B is speculated to have multiple manufacturers as well, but this is yet to be confirmed. These three masks are TF1 made by Tangshan Puda. Here's the packaging plastic bag. These three masks are TF1 made by Tangfeng. Here's the packaging plastic bag. And this mask is a TF1 made by Yehu. Here's the packaging plastic bag. And it also comes with a manual and a piece of cloth to clean the lenses. This MF1A is made by Bangu Productive. Here's the packaging plastic bag. And this mask is an MF1B made by Tangshan Puda. Here's the packaging plastic bag. The TF1, also known as MF1, is based on type 66, of which the mask is based on type 59. A licensed copy of the SHM41M. The thread of TF1 mask and its derivatives are ghost threaded, not normalized threaded. Normalized thread does not exist. That is just a myth made by an English dimwit. Anyways, the sizing system of the TF1 and its derivatives is kind of similar to the sizing system of the so-called GP5 or to be more specific the SHM62 and SHM62U. But you have to subtract it by one. For example, a size 3 GP5 is equivalent to a size 4 MF1B. Do note that the largest size available is size 4. For most TF1 and its derivatives, the valve assembly is pretty much similar as most ordinary helmet style masks. Here is the ghost threaded 40mm port for TF1 made by Tangshan Puda. And this one is from Tangshan. Both of them have the exact design of the primary SL valve. The design is the same as in MF1A and MF1B. Notwithstanding with the norm, TF1 made by Yehu has a different design for its primary SL valve. Moving on, TF1 and MF1A masks are not resistant to sunlight exposure. Here's an example. These three masks are TF1 made by Tangshan Puda. This example here have zero exposure on sunlight. It is fully grey in color without any discoloration. This one on the other hand has experienced some discoloration due to multiple times of sunlight exposure. And this one here is what happens when the TF1 gets extreme sunlight exposure. As you see there, the inside is still grey in color and the distinction of color is apparent here. Here's another comparison between a sunlight damaged MF1A and a new MF1A.
the MF1B is the only mask that can withstand sunlight with no discoloration. On most TF1 and its derivatives, at least the modern ones, they lack any stems or labels whatsoever except at the chin area where the size of the mask is indicated there. On Yehu TF1, not only it has its size indicated at the chin area, there's also a Yehu trademark here. Generally, the full set of TF1 and its derivatives is in accordance to the manufacturer that made it. The contents are pretty much the same for every set with minor differences this one is made by tangshan puda it is consisted of green bag a hose the mask itself and a coffee can style filter the coffee can style filter is from the same company that makes the tf1 and there are different types of this filter this one here is for organic chemicals here I wear the TF1 set This set here is made by Tangren, another company that also makes TF1 masks. Well, that's pretty much what I know so far about them. I've been your presenter Hazim, also known as Zim Unknown. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.